Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120-month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence, so I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up, everybody? This is Big Herc with Prison Talk, and I want to say thanks for tuning in to another episode. And for all you guys who have subscribed to us, we really appreciate it. You have pushed us to over 100,000 subscribers. Now, we get a lot of questions from our viewers about different things, and I like to try to keep it you know, as broad as possible. So one of our viewers emailed us and wanted to ask, whoever is the guy selling knives, how does he get them? How much more time could he get if he was caught? Would he sell to other races or only his own? Would he be making much money? Now, the knife slinging game in prison, you know, they call it a blinky, they call it a shank, um, they call it a, a poker, you know, there's a lot of names for it. But the person selling knives in prison, uh, they don't really give a fuck about getting caught for selling knives. That's why they're selling them. You know, it's a hustle. And a lot of times this person maybe has access to a metal shop somewhere in there. Or he works in the kitchen so he can get access to different things he can break off and use to make knives. Um, but uh, they're not selling to everybody. Believe that. A black guy is not going to sell a Mexican guy a knife in prison. It's not going to happen. You know, that can get your wig split. A Mexican guy is not going to sell a black guy a knife. A white guy is not going to sell a black guy a knife for money. Doesn't happen. The only time you'll see uh, things crossing over as far as being sold to other races is drugs. Other than that, if you're talking about like weapons, um, you're not going to arm another race in prison. And that's just how, that's politics. But anyways, um, you know, so if a black guy is making knives or has access to knives, he's most likely going to sell to his own people. Um, you know, there might be instances where he might, uh, if he's in a clique with uh, Hispanics, like, say, from up north, then that might be, a, you know, that might be put to the side because of this, you know, political situation. But for the most part, he's not going to sell to outside of his race. As far as him getting caught, he's not really tripping off of that. That's a hustle. And knives could cost anywhere from, you know, twenty, thirty dollars to a hundred dollars, depending on the knife and what it's made out of. If it's made out of um, uh, a chicken bone, or if it's made out of plastic, if it's made out of metal, um, you know, the higher quality the knife, the more valuable it is. Um, as far as you know, where the knives are being, you know, kept at. They're hit all over the institution, you know. You got guys that work in laundry. They'll hide knives in laundry. They'll hide knives in the kitchen. They'll hide knives in the unit. They'll hide knives on the yard, you know. They got knives everywhere. And, um, you know, it's a big business in prison, man. You're talking about, you know, a neutralizer that can basically take somebody's life. So knives are pretty serious. You know, you get caught with one, you could get, you know, you can get time added on. You're, mostly, you're gonna go to the hole for sure and you're gonna lose some good time. That's just, there's no, no questions about it. So if you're fucking with a knife in prison, there's gonna be ramifications. Um, if you have one, be prepared to use it, you know what I mean? Because if you, uh, you know, once you buy one from somebody, it's gonna be known, you know, maybe through somebody else that you have access to one. So if you get into it with somebody, they're gonna expect you to pull it on them. So just be prepared, because word travels quick in prison. Um, and as far as carrying a knife, you know, there's all kind of ways you can transport them, you know. You got knives small enough to where dudes are putting them in their ass, you know what I'm saying, their prison pocket. You got guys, uh, you know, taping them up to inside their clothing, you know, if it's made out of plastic where it doesn't go off in a metal detector. So there's a lot of ways knives are being utilized in prison. But, um, you know, it's not something you want to get involved with. And if you do, just be prepared for the consequences because, um, you know, once you start playing that knife game, there's potential to get your wig split.